York yields back. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're here today for the children. In voting for the rule and the underlying bills, we're sending a strong message. We're sending a message to the abusers of children. If you harm one of these little ones, you will be met with the full fury of the American justice system. You will be discovered and reported by your peers. You will face the threat of appropriately harsh demands. And you will face the full force of the law if you visually depict child exploitation. And we're sending a message to the bystanders. You have a solemn duty to protect these children. You have a duty to be their hope and their happiness and their future when you step in and stop abuse. You have a duty to report the heinous acts committed by monsters. Lately, we don't have many moments in Washington where both political parties can come together and reach a consensus. But the legislation we're considering today provides the perfect opportunity. These bills should not be controversial. They should draw the support of both sides because protecting our children is a moral necessity for every American. That is, after all, the, the message these bills send. I thank Representative Brooks and Representative Johnson for the hard work they've done on these bills, and I thank Chairman Goodlatte for shepherding these bills to the Judiciary Committee and for spending so much time in committee working on legislation to protect our children. I urge members to vote yes on the resolution, vote yes on the underlying bills. I yield back the balance of my time, and I move the previous question on the resolution. The